Beautiful day here today in Scotland and I thought I would do a video on uh, Tom Tom, uh, the new 1.3 update. Now unlike my other videos you're not going to see uh, a full demo of how this works because I think you get the point uh, as to how it works. And I'm just going to give you my views on the 1.3 update and how it's working and the comparison with uh, Copilot. I don't know but to me the Tom Tom 1.3 update is more of a finished product uh, or, or a finished service. Uh, than all the other previous versions and this to me is um, something that you can possibly even think about buying despite you know the, the whole pricing issue that I had um, and I'm in a remote location at the moment that's why it's saying uh, poor GPS reception um, but the thing that I like about this update is that it's improved the map um, drastically it's giving you more real-time updates as to where you are it's not lagging um, also, they've added the HD traffic, if I can show you. Here we are, TomTom Tom traffic is a new option. And uh, let's press yes. Now, I did subscribe to this and uh, for a day. It basically gives you options as to what subscription you want. So if you want it for a day, it's something like 60 pence. If you want it for a month, there we go. There's all the pricing schedule. So it gives you all these uh, options and I opted for that first one just to see how it worked. And um, to be honest I never really banged into any traffic and I don't know uh, how this operates. Because once you subscribe to this it doesn't give you any other drop down menus or options. So I presume uh, if you're nearing a traffic junk point or a, yeah, a traffic junction or a hotspot more like. It will pop up or it will give you alternatives to... Um, you know, go elsewhere or give you a different route, but um, I haven't really had the full experience of that HD traffic. The pricing for this is a, a joke, may I add, uh, considering you're paying £60 for the, the application and then having to shell out more. But I guess it's, uh, this um, HD business would be good for someone who's always on the road. If you live your life on the motorways, uh, it's going to be handy. If you maybe operate for a courier, again, that's going to be uh, good because it will give you um, less travel time, let's shall we say, give you alternatives. This uh, update has also brought in a new feature and it's called the local search by Google and I'm going to demonstrate that for you just now. So let's go into search in city and let's put in Glasgow because that's where I am at the moment and let's put in Apple Store or just Apple not that I'm ever going to forget where the Apple Store is in Glasgow, um, but um, yep, here it is. So it's bringing you up all the list of the Apple Store, and the first one correctly is the Apple Store in Glasgow, Buchanan Street. And not only does it tell you where it is, you it will take you right there if you want. It will give you the phone number, and if you press that here, it's going to basically take us there. Or maybe not. Press done. We just have to press select and it will take us there to the Apple Store. Now why that's good is because you don't need to open up uh, Safari. Uh, you can open up the search in city right from the TomTom -tom menu so you're not having to waste more time going into Safari, copying the postcode, coming back into TomTom -tom, and then putting the postcode in. A neat feature in my opinion. Also what they've uh, done in this update is, let's say you listen to music and um, you're coming up to a junction and TomTom -tom is going to say turn left, take the second junction. The music will automatically go down uh, once the TomTom -tom speaks or says something, which is always good because you don't want to miss those uh, key moments uh, coming up to a roundabout or those junctions. So a very neat feature. And one last uh, feature of, it's more of a UI update to this TomTom uh, -tom 1.3 is that it will automatically change the colours or the brightness of the screen depending on whether it's day or night so it will change the map colours to night mode or day mode and again it's just these small things that make uh, the bigger difference I guess okay so now you're probably wondering well how is Copilot performing when it comes to you know 1.3 TomTom versus the Copilot Copilot uh, a few weeks before the 1.3 update came out for TomTom -tom, updated their application as well. There's been far more updates for Copilot than there has for TomTom -tom, and uh, you'll get the same features in Copilot um, and I think it's overall generally it's, the application is obviously cheaper than TomTom -tom, and it works just as um, fine I would say if not better. And I'm going to show you some of these live services so you've got your live local search similar to the Google search. Uh, you just tap on it, live local search and you put in one, what you're looking for, so let's put in Apple again. Nearby, 
and it's doing a local search. So this uh, co-pilot comes in at £26 I think, whereas TomTom -Tom was £60. And you would be daft uh, to go for TomTom -Tom, I would guess. But hey, if you're much of a TomTom -Tom person, you've never used anything apart from TomTom, -Tom, then yeah, TomTom -Tom is a good buy. And yeah, it works. This search feature works very similar to TomTom -Tom does. And yeah, Copilot did bring it out before TomTom. -Tom. What other good thing about this is, uh, and I can't really demonstrate this for you, is Facebook. So this Copilot has got Facebook integration whereby it will automatically post the uh, status updates um, as to where you are. And uh, this is quite good if you are a Facebook um, user. Uh, so every destination that you reach or you go to, it will automatically tell you as to, um, okay, I'm in Manchester, or I'm at X, Y, or Z. Um, and yeah, uh, it gives your followers on Facebook, I guess, um, real-time sort of updates, and you don't have to go into Facebook and say, I am here, or, you know, you're spamming your Facebook uh, individually. It, the software itself will do it for you. And also in Copilot is the live traffic, similar to the HD traffic in TomTom. -Tom. And yeah, Copilot were the first ones to bring it out, and uh, you know, amazingly, considering TomTom -Tom is such a big brand. But uh, Copilot has it as well, as well as Live Link, Live Weather, Roadside assist uh, Assistance. You've also got the music um, adjusting feature in this, which TomTom -Tom has. So if you're going, coming up to a junction, the music that you're playing from your iPhone will go down and you'll be able to hear. Uh, the co-pilot much clearer so you don't end up taking the wrong turn essentially. So now is the key question you're asking which one should I go for co-pilot or TomTom? -tom? Hands down I'm not going to argue again co-pilot I've always said this co-pilot is the winner and uh, the only thing differentiating co-pilot from TomTom -tom is the price. £26 for co-pilot, £60 for TomTom. -tom. Uh, it's a no-brainer. Quality wise they're both the, both the same and uh, before you know quality wise co-pilot was the winner but TomTom uh, 1.3 update has brushed up um, quite a lot, so it's um, more of a finished product or a finished service, as I said at the start. Go for Copilot. And if you haven't seen any of my other um, SatNav application videos, I've got uh, plenty of uh, videos on the Cradle for the TomTom, the iPhone car kit, the TomTom iPod Touch car kit, and a lot of uh, demos as to how these applications work. Um, click on my channel and uh, go to the SatNav area, I'll give you um, more videos on this segment I guess. Thanks for tuning in, do the join me on iglasswegian.com, twitter.com slash i 6 and yeah, tune in for another video, cheers.